What is Mars opposition? How frequently does it happen? Why is it important to amateur astronomy? And how can you see it in the night sky? Let's talk about that. So Mars opposition is when the Sun and Mars are on the exact opposite sides of the Earth, meaning that you could draw a straight line directly through the three celestial bodies. Now this is a major event for amateur astronomy because that means Mars can be seen throughout almost the entire night sky. Now how frequently does this happen? And to answer that question, we have to take a step back and look at the solar system as a whole, or at least the Sun, Earth, and Mars. If we think of Earth and Mars as race cars starting at the beginning of a race, that means they'll start out at opposition. However, Earth's track is a little bit shorter. Since it's closer to the Sun, it doesn't have to travel as far, meaning eventually Earth is actually going to lap Mars in its path. So every time Earth passes Mars, that's when Mars opposition happens. So this happens once every 780 days, meaning that this isn't a once in a lifetime experience. However, the variation on how close Mars actually gets changes every opposition. For example, in 2003, Mars opposition was the closest that it had ever been in over 50,000 years. Now, when is the next Mars opposition? It actually is coming up really soon, this Friday, Mars, Mars 27, July 27, 2018. So where will you need to look to find Mars in the night sky? If you live in the northern hemisphere, you should look towards the southeast when the sun sets. And as you get closer to midnight, you should look higher into the sky, but in the southern part of the sky. Whereas if you live in the southern hemisphere, it's going to be directly overhead for the most part. It's going to rise in the east when the sun sets in the west, and it's going to go all the way across the sky, similar to the path that the moon travels. Now speaking of the moon, it's actually going to be a full moon of that night. Therefore, it will make the apparent brightness of Mars a little less just because the moon is going to be so bright, but it's still going to be pretty noticeable. So what should you be looking for in the night sky? Well, it looks something like this. Pretty reddish, almost peachy, and standing out amongst the other stars. So if you have a telescope or binoculars, you should definitely check it out through those because it'll make it seem a little bit more clear. Now Mars opposition turns out to be incredibly important to the history of astronomy and proving Copernicus right that all the planets orbit around the sun. If you want to learn more about that, check out this video where we discuss what Kepler was able to find and how he was able to do it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.